Hey guys, Flair here. I am making this video to talk a bit about Samurai in general and how it is in its current state for beginners to understand the class more. As an endgame raider who has done speed kills, early week 1 progs and some ultimates, this video I am making will go through every basic things you need to know about the Samurai. That aside, let's get right into it. The Samurai is a very straightforward and beginner friendly class. Learning the basic things of the Samurai is not hard. However, Samurai has an extremely huge skill ceiling, making it the most difficult among all classes to optimize and play at high level. It also feels very rewarding because if you put the effort to learn the class at its best, you will be doing so much damage that it will straight up amaze other players. The Samurai at its core focuses on dealing the most damage possible by itself without providing any utility to the group. We have the Yaijutsu system which works on building sand gauges in order to execute a powerful Yaijutsu, normally combined with Hisatsu Kaiten to deal the most damage possible. Let's talk about the GCDs of the Samurai. Hakaze. This is your combo starter. It deals 200 potency and increases your Kenki gauge by 5. Shifu. This is your second speed GCD combo of the Hakaze, reducing your GCD cost time by 10% and at uh, level 78, it reduces the cost time by 13%, increasing your Kenki gauge by another 5. Jinbu. This is your second damage dealing combo after Hakaze, increasing your damage dealt by 10% and at level 78, it increases to 13%. Using Jinpu after Hakaze also increases your Kenki gauge by 5. Kasha. This is your combo finisher which is used after Shifu and is also your flank positional combo. You earn 5 Kenki for using it and 5 extra Kenki for using it on the boss's flank. Gecko Gecko, this is your combo finisher which is used after Jinpu. This is also your rear positional combo. You earn 5 Kenki for using it and 5 extra Kenki for using it on the boss's rear position. Yukikaze your combo finisher, which is used after Hakaze, it grants you straight 15 Kenki and has no positional requirement. NP This is your ranged damaging GCD, normally used after Hisatsu Yaten for the boosted damage. Fuga Your AoE combo starter, increasing your Kenki by 5. Mangetsu your AoE combo finisher, this also grants you the Getsu Sun and also extends your Jin Buu's buff duration. Oka, your AoE combi combo finisher, sorry, and granting you the Kasan, it also extends the duration of Shifu. Lastly, Meditate. This is also on the GCD timer. This skill allows you to build Kenki and Meditation stacks to use Shoha, which is an OGCD which I'm going to be talking about. However, you will not be able to attack anything while using it. It will wear off instantly if you move. This skill is mostly used during boss downtimes to build extra resources. To simplify things, there are three main combos of the Samurai that you need to know. These are Hakaze, Shifu, Kasha, granting you the Kasan, Hakaze, Jinpu, Geko, granting you the Getsusan, Hakaze, Yukikaze, granting you the Setsusan. Each of these combos will grant you one Sen and allows you to execute one Yajutsu. The Yajutsus are Higanbana, at one Sen, the Samurai Dot combined with Kaiten, it totals up to a whopping 
1575 potency over 1 minute. Tenka Goken at 2 cents, your AoE Yajutsu used when fighting 2 or more monsters. Mostly you will be using this in dungeons. Midare Setsugeika as 3 sun, your single target burst often used the most in raids or bosses. Note that Yajutsus are also affected by GC Timer. There is also the ability Tsubamegashi, which becomes available right after using any Yajutsu and is put on a 60 second cooldown after using it. Do note that this ability is affected by the GCD timer as well. Tsubamegashi will turn into one of the three abilities which are Kaishi Higanbana, Kaishi Goken, and Kaishi Setsugeika. These abilities have an equal potency of the initial Yajutsus but with an extra 50% boost. Hence, the same amount of damage it would deal with Kaiten on the Yajutsus. Note that Kaiten does not affect the Tsubamegashi. Normally, Kaishi Goken and Setsugeka is used the most as it is a DPS loss to use Kaishi Higanbana due to it being on a 60 second timer and how easy it is to build Higanbana from one sun since both of these dots do not stack. Casting any Yaijutsu or Kaishi ability will build up one meditation stack. The second important mechanic of the Samurai is the Kenki Gauge. Casting each of the main GCD combos gives you a certain amount of Kenki and more if you execute your combo perfectly. For example, using Hakaze will get you 5 Kenki, using Hakaze and Shifu or Jimpu will earn you 5 extra Kenki totaling up to 10 Kenki, using Hakaze, Shifu or Jinpu plus Kasha or Gekko will earn you 10 extra Kenki totaling up to 20 Kenki. Using Hakaze and Yukikaze however will earn you 5 plus 15 Kenki totaling up to 20 Kenki. Hence, using each combo fully will earn you 20 Kenki. Making sure that on the Kasha and Gekko combo you are hitting your positional to get that extra 5 Kenki. Now let's move on to the OGCDs of the Samurai whereby Kenki is used to use the most damaging OGCDs. The OGCDs are Iki Shoten, granting you straight 50 Kenki, Hisatsu Senei, huge hit of 1100 potency costing you 50 Kenki, Hisatsu Guran, huge AoE hit of 850 potency costing you 50 Kenki, used when facing two enemies or more only. Hisatsu Kaiten boosts the next GCD by 50% and it costs you 50 Kenki to use it. Normally you would be using Hisatsu Kaiten on your EI Jutsu. Hisatsu Yata. This makes you backstep at the cost of 10 Kenki and activates Enhanced MP, causing MP to do more damage. Hisatsu Gyoten. This is your go-to gap closer, costing you 10 Kenki. Shoha. Shoha is activated after reaching stream meditation stacks, whether you use it after meditation or you use it after the EI Jutsu. Hisatsu Shinten. This is the most used OGCD in the Samurai and it is used to dump excess Kenki. Hisatsu Kyoten Your most used AoE OGCD combo to dump excess Kenki used on 3 or more monsters only. Third Eye Third Eye is used to mitigate damage and if timed correctly, it activates Merciful Eyes and Hisatsu Seigan. Note that Seigan is a DPS gain per Kenki over Shinten. Merciful Eyes on the other hand is rarely used 
but may help on critical situations. Hagakure This OGCD consumes your sun and gives you a specific amount of Kenki depending on the amount of Kenki used. It is mostly used on one sun for the loop rotation. Check out my Samurai Loop Rotation Guide for that. Make your Shisui. This allows you to use any GCD without any combo, usually used on Gekko, Kasha or Yukikaze. To learn about the openers and further optimization and some tips, please check out the videos I made about them respectively. I will be putting the link in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I will gladly answer any questions you got, whether it be from a beginner perspective or from an endgame perspective. See you guys later and have fun!